Hi everyone, this is Rachel Colton of RNC, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this macrame wall planter. What you're going to need to create this project is you're going to need either a stick or a dowel rod. I'm using a stick that's about 19 inches long. You're also going to need your string or your rope. I'm going to be using three millimeter single strand cotton string, and you're going to need to cut 16 pieces of string to about 165 inches each. You'll also need an additional piece of string to hang your stick, and you'll need a piece that's about 24 inches to create your gathering knot at the bottom. You'll also need a sharp pair of scissors, and if you have the pot that you're going to use for this planter, you can use that as a reference. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do to get started is just tie a piece of string that's about 18 to 20 inches with double knots on either end of your stick or your dowel rod. Then what we're going to do is we're going to attach all of our strings to the stick using a lark's head knot. Take your first string, line up the loose ends, then find your way to the center of the string, which now has a loop. Take the loop over and behind your stick or your dowel rod. Then take the loose ends that are around in front, pull them back through the loop, then pull down on them to tighten the knot onto the stick and that's called a lark's head knot. You're going to do that with the remaining strings. So I'll show you one more time. Take the two loose ends, line them up, find your way to the center with the loop. Loop goes over and behind. The loose ends go through the loop. and pull down on the loose ends and tighten your knot at the top. And you wanna do that with the remaining strings. Once all 16 of your strings have been attached using a lark's head knot, we're going to begin creating an inverted triangle using a series of alternating square knots. So what you're going to do to create your first square knot is you're going to pick up the first four strings on the right. You're going to take the rightmost string and you're going to cross it in front of the other strings. Then you're going to take the left string and bring it in front of the one you just crossed over. You're gonna take that left string behind the center two strings and up through this loop on the side and then take both sides and pull your knot up to the top. That's the first half of a square knot. To complete the square knot, you're going to do the opposite. Take the left, cross it over the center two, take the right string on top of that one, behind the two in the center, up through the loop, then pull the two strings tight to match the other half at the top. That is a complete square knot. So what we're going to do is we're gonna make a full line of square knots all the way to the other side. So pick up your next four strings over and repeat your square knot. Take the right string, cross it in front, left string on top of that one, left goes behind the center two and up through the loop then pull your strings tight to the top complete the square knot by doing the opposite left in front of the center two right on top behind through the loop
and you move on to the next four strings, make a square knot and continue all the way across. For this next row, what we're going to do is we're going to leave out the two strings on the right and the two strings on the left. So leaving these first two strings out, pick up the next four and you're gonna make a square knot here, which will fall between the two above it. So just like you did before, take right across, left in front, behind and through. Tighten it up to the top and reverse left over, right in front, behind and through and tighten. Then pick up the next four and make a square knot and continue across till just these two strings remain unused. Now in each subsequent row, you're gonna leave out an additional two strings. So for that previous row, we left out the first two. For this next row, we're gonna leave out four. And then in the next row, you're gonna leave out six and then eight and so on until you are left with just one square knot in the center. Once you've completed the inverted triangle of alternating square knots, we're going to add a row of diagonal clove hitch knots. Awesome. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the string on the right. This is going to be our filler string that comes across at a diagonal. The rest of the strings will be knotting around this string. So you're gonna pick up the next one over to the left. It's gonna come behind your filler string. Then you're gonna bring it over and around and then back through this loop over here. Then tug down on that string and pull it up to the top. Now you need to repeat that. So take this string over your filler string, around behind and through the loop, pull down and then tighten. And you're going to do that with all of these strings till you reach the center. So pick up the next one. It comes behind, over, around and through the loop, then pull down on it and tighten it up to meet the others. Then repeat that, the string's over here now, so cross it in front, around behind and through, pull down and then tighten. So continue this until you get to the bottom of the triangle. Once you've reached the center, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And since this knot can be very tricky to get a hang of, I'm gonna show you again what it looks like over here. So your leftmost string is gonna be the filler string coming across on the left. You're gonna pick up the next string over to the right. It comes behind, then you cross it over behind that string and through the loop, then pull down on it and tighten it up to the top. Then you repeat, it's over here now, so cross it in front, bring it around behind and through the loop, pull down on it and tighten it up. And you're gonna repeat that with all of the strings until you get to the center. Once you reach the center with your diagonal clove hitch knots, you just wanna complete this by making one additional knot around this left filler string. So you're actually using what was the right filler string to make your final knot. So you're still holding on to this left filler string. Make one more. double clove hitch knot in the center just to close that up. Once you close this up, we're gonna create an additional row of square knots. So you're gonna take the four strings on the right and you're going to make 
one square knot. And since you have this line up here that's at an angle, if you make your square knot straight, you'll have just a little bit of space up here. So you just want to pull it tight till it is straight in line with the others. Then pick up the next four strings and make a square knot that's level on a horizontal line and continue so you go all the way across. Once you've completed your row of square knots, we're just going to make one additional square knot in the center to maintain the shape of this inverted triangle. So take your four centermost strings and you're going to make one more square knot right underneath the point of the triangle. What we're going to do now is we're going to repeat this diagonal clove hitch underneath of these square knots. So I'll show you the diagonal clove hitch one more time. Your right filler string is coming across at a diagonal. Next string over to the left is coming first behind, then crossing in front, around behind and through the loop, pull down and pull tight and then repeat. And you're gonna continue all the way to the center. Once you've completed both sides of your diagonal clove hitch, you are once again going to connect it at the bottom. So keeping a hold of that left filler string, take that last string, which was your right filler string, and make two more clove hitch knots. So this part of our pattern is complete. What we're going to do now is we're going to create a diamond pattern of alternating square knots that will help to hold our pot in place. So if you have the pot that you plan to use with this planter, you can use it as a guide for where to start your knots. You can decide if you want this sitting up high close to the pattern on the wall or if you want to leave some space. If you have a bigger pot, you want to start further down, smaller pot, you can start your knots higher up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the rightmost string and the leftmost string. We're going to bring them around sort of to the front and center of our design. And these are going to be the filler strings for our first square knot. Then you're going to take the second string over here on the right around and next to the filler string. And you're going to take the second string on the left around and next to that left filler string. And you're going to use these four to create a square knot. So you just want to decide where you would like this first square knot to fall and try to keep it center with your design and level on a horizontal. Then we're going to need two square knots underneath of this. So we're going to use these right two plus an additional two strings from the right. So find the next one that's free up here. It should be the third string and bring it around. And then take the fourth string, bring that around, and you're gonna make a square knot underneath of the one you just made and to the right. So just tighten it up underneath that first square knot, trying to keep it level. And you're going to do the same thing on the left. So you have these two strings, you need two more. So take the third one on the left and bring it around. Then the fourth one on the left, bring it around and make a square knot next to the one you just created. Now your next row is going to have a square knot in the center 
and then two on either side. So you're going to continue this pattern of picking up two additional strings on either side. You can start with the one in the center. Then move over to the right using these two strings on the right. Pick up your next string, which should be the fifth string, and then the sixth string, and make another square knot. And you're going to do the same thing on the left. You have these two strings. You need to take the fifth one around and then the sixth one around and make your square knot on the left. And now you're going to do another row. This time you're going to have four square knots coming across. So again, you're going to pick up two more from either side. Once you've completed this row with four square knots going across, that is the center, the widest point. So now we don't need to pick up any additional strings. We're going to make a row of three, then two, then one. So for this first row of three, you want to leave out two on either side. So leaving out those first two, pick up the next four to make your first square knot and make a row of three square knots going across. In the next row, you're just going to be making two square knots. So you want to leave out four and then pick up these next four to make a square knot here. Pick up the next four to make your second square knot and that will be the completion of that row. And to complete the diamond, you just need to find the four centermost strings and make one final square knot at the bottom. So what we need to do now is we need to create a gathering knot at the bottom, which will support our pot from underneath. So you're going to take all of the strings, plus you need an additional piece of string that's about 24 inches long. So what you do to make a gathering knot is you take this additional piece of string and you hold it parallel with the rest of the strings. Now you're gonna take that string down about five inches and then just fold it over to create a loop. Hold that loop in place with your thumb, then take this long loose end and you're going to start wrapping it around all of the other strings fairly tightly and you want to wrap it at least five or six times. You can do more if you like the look of that. You may need to start with a longer string if you want to do more. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight wraps around. Once you've finished wrapping this string, you want to take that loose end through the loop at the bottom and just kind of hold it in place with your thumb. Then you're going to take the loose end up here at the top and you're going to pull it up. That's going to pull the loop and the loop is going to pull this loose end into the knot. And once you see that it's about at the center point, you want to take both ends and tug in opposite directions to tighten the knot. Then once you have your gathering knot complete, you can just trim those loose ends close to your knot. And if you want, you can tuck the fringe gently in with your scissors, or you can just leave it. That's up to you. And your final step is just to decide how long you want this fringe at the bottom to be. So you're just going to decide how long you want that and cut straight across with a sharp pair of scissors. Once you have the gathering knot secured at the bottom, you are ready to place your pot into this little net that you've created. And you can put your plan in and it's ready to hang on the wall.
I hope that you enjoyed this video and you'll give this planter a try. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel and leave any questions or comments. Thank you and stay safe.